As it stands now, the board has two ways to go. The first is to develop a new desegregation plan under HEW administration. Or the board could fight the HEW before an administrative law judge, arguing that they are currently meeting desegregation requirements. Board member Nolden Gentry says their legal counsel has been looking at the HEW letter and possible defenses against it. And the meeting was closed today so that they could get candid responses from their legal counsel. Well, as the mix changes and as the Federal Power Commission's recent rulings on higher prices for flowing gas, old gas, and new gas um, become effective, um, the price will go up and up. The Alaskan gas that we hear about, when that comes in, which may be in 1981 or 1982, that will be very expensive gas. The gas that they get from the Gulf will be um, new gas and in addition there will be pipeline facilities to be constructed, transportation charges to be paid to other pipelines. That will be expensive gas. But basically, uh, our people are doing very, very well, and I think a, a rather moderate increase in price is not going to have much effect. But you strip away the insulation from the economic system and force Americans and Iowans to pay the real costs of energy, and at the same time, you, uh, you uh, use a, an influence of what we call a patriotic influence. Point out to them that this country literally is not an independent nation anymore. We are so dependent upon outsiders for oil, and especially this the dictatorial organization uh, OPEC
Uh, try to stay lower than them, I guess. I don't know. It's not really, I don't think size has that much to do with it, you know, because we're the smallest center and uh, one of the smallest guards and Rob stuff. But I don't know. It just, you know, we don't, this week we didn't really blow them off the ball that much. We ran around them and I don't know, seem to be doing a job. It seems to me that you really keep blocking and saying it's pretty basic. Has this been part of Coach Williams' philosophy? Uh, not just, well, Coach Williams, Coach Mason, all of them, you know, they're doing a real good job. You know, we, you know, we have different schemes every week, and we just, uh, they run, a, Missouri ran a lot of defenses, and we just, you know, kind of took care of them. Coach Bruce talks about uh, having a small offensive line. You guys are, but he also says you've lost weight during the season. I don't know about you in particular, but he mentioned Al Grissinger uh, down 15, 20 pounds. What about you? Yeah, well, I stayed all right until uh, the Oklahoma game, and I lost 15 pounds in that game, and it, it's slowly starting to come back, but it was pretty hot. You know. How do you get that weight back? What about diet? Uh, drink a couple of beers at night. <laughs> no, just you know, a lot of milk and... You know, just try to stuff yourself, peanut butter and jelly, a lot of that. Okay, Kevin, what about Colorado this Saturday? How tough Buffalo's defensively? Oh, they're real tough. They got, they've got a young defensive line. I played against this guy last year, too. It was my first start. And uh, they're, they're real tough. they got a pretty tough defensive backfield, and uh, we're just going to have to take it to them like we did in Missouri game. You move the ball against them? Yeah, I think we can. Keep Dexter healthy like he was, you know. He came out, you know, he was he had a real easy week, and... Uh, Hope he takes it easy this week if he can run as well as he does, you know, Saturday. Oh, I lost, I think it was 47 pounds. And I don't know, it wasn't no secret to it. It was just training, you know. And I got up. I started losing it right after the season ended, you know, before we went to that bowl game in Houston. Um, I just ran a mile every morning, you know, and slacked off my food and stuff like that. And, you know, I just wanted to get off of the weight and stuff, so I lost it. You came here as a defensive tackle and weighed, what, 285 or thereabouts. Uh, now you're middle guard. Uh, how do you feel about the change and the quickness that ne was needed at that position? <laughs> well, I feel good about it. You know, like I said, I lost all that weight. You know, I knew I was too heavy from the start, you know, but I hadn't really, really trained, you know, trying to get that weight off. And with Coach Mallory, he wanted me down to about 250, 255, something like that, you know. And especially this year when I came in this year he told me to report in around 250 but now you know I'm comfortable and I and I feel much quicker and I'm moving better now you know and my whole game of football is different now you know I'm where I'm supposed to be at you know at all times and stuff so I really feel good about it you're one of the few experienced interior linemen that Colorado has how good can the defense be this fall the defense could be as great as we want it to be. You know, we have some rookies and stuff, you know, that playing for us, but they can play good football. You know, Gary Hartling and Ruby Vaughn, Ruben Vaughn, they have us, you know, they have them starting now at the tackles position, you know, but they're doing just as good a job as I'd say a veteran could do, you know. And plus we have, you know, uh, T. Lloyd Lolatai that plays behind me and stuff, you know. is a great football player. You know, I feel like he can play for anybody in the conference, you know.
Well, uh, the film I've watched now, they seem to be uh, pretty good so far. Uh, their offensive line isn't as big as last year, but uh, they still come off the ball well and everything, and they have good running backs. Good people at skill positions. Yeah, like a tailback, I think they have... Uh, Tony Reed. Yeah, Tony Reed, and then they have Billy Waddy at a tet, uh, flanker, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, you think back to last year, that was a wild ball game. You'd settle for 29-28 again, turned around. Oh, yeah, I think I would. About Missouri, how'd you feel? How did you personally feel when it was all over at Columbia last Saturday? Oh, I was awful relieved because I got, I got pretty, <laughs> I got pretty scared there for a while. Uh, towards the end of the game, when they were only like when they were trying to pass for their, la for their last touchdown. But uh, after the game, I was relieved and I felt great. You had a big sack right before it was all over too. I don't know if you ever had a bigger hit in your life. Oh no, uh, Coach Rodriguez called a stunt for for me and. Uh, it was a good stunt that worked, and I just got the big hit with Otis Rogers. Do you think that's the biggest win that you've ever been in as a player? Uh, yeah, right now it has been. Okay, what about any worries about not getting up for Colorado? you ever have a letdown after games like that? What's the squad attitude? Uh, yesterday's practice seemed to be a real good practice, and uh, I think uh, the Missouri win gave, us, gave our team a lot of confidence, and I, I think we'll have a good week of practice, and I think we'll be up for it.